What is up everybody? Welcome to another video. My name is JR aka The Sinister Camaro and welcome to another video. I got a good one for you today. If no matter if it's your first time or it's your millionth time at a car show, we've got some awesome tips and tricks for you guys. The do's and don'ts of what to do at a car meet. No matter where you're at, what you're doing, cruise in, car show, or just a family friendly event, doesn't matter. These rules still apply. Let's go over them right now. Rule number one, make sure that you get there early. I know it seems ludicrous and I don't really do this very much, but for you guys, definitely show up early because you wanna get that spot, you wanna get a good spot, you don't wanna get kept in the nosebleeds and some dirt paths somewhere out in the gravel. Make sure to get there early, reserve a good spot for you, get that clean and done, so all you have to do is just sit back, relax, and watch everybody else struggle to get their cars done for the car show. So, number one, get there early so tip number two I've said this in a previous video but I want to reinstate it again make sure that you bring some sunblock because that heat's gonna be vicious that Sun's gonna wear down on you you're gonna get dehydrated so make sure that those two three days after the car show you're not dealing with burnt skin it sucks I tell you I burn so easy so I make sure to bring sunblock with me no matter what outdoor show I go to so make sure that you bring some too, or else you're gonna be dealing with it a few days after the fact. So tip number three, make sure you go out and make new friends. Car shows, car meets, cruise-ins, whatever you wanna call it, they're all there because us car people wanna stick around, we wanna see each other, wanna see each other's builds. So make sure, go out of your way to make friends with people. That's something I didn't do and I regret it because there's so many wonderful, great people out there doing so many crazy builds. So make sure to go out there and make some friends. Don't just sit by your car all day. Go out there, ask the owner, what did you do to it? What was your favorite thing that you did to it? How much did it cost? How much time did you spend on it? People love talking. They love talking about their cars. They love talking about their family. They love all of it because it's just a social interaction. So be sure at these shows, make some friends because you never know when you might need one to jump off your car or just to help you with a flat tire on the side of the road after the show or years down the road. Make good friends. Automotive people are wonderful. They're great. They're awesome. Another tip to do at a car show is one of the things that I strive on the most and that is be open to new things, to new styles, to different styles. Not everybody's gonna like what you like. Be sure to be open to all kinds of styles. You're gonna see the classics, you're gonna see the rat rods, you're gonna see the body drops, you're gonna see up in the sky. You might even see this guy. Now, I can tell you all the lights on this thing, the doors that go up, the system in the back. Oh, but that's just, that's just ridiculous because it's supposed to be a muscle car. Well, that's just ridiculous. That's not what I wanted, intended it for. It's got the muscle sound, it's got the muscle power, but I don't wanna just leave it at that. I want to be something different. So I did all that stuff because I chose for it. Build it for yourself. You'll always be happy when you build it for yourself. You can't go wrong. You won't hate yourself for it. Other people might not agree with it. Perfectly fine. That's going to happen. We're people. We're different. We're not just gray blobs that basically do the same thing each other does. So make sure. Be open to new styles of cars that you go and see. I could care less if you like this or not. But when you're at a car show, be respectful. Don't mumble on your breath. Us car people can hear it, and trust me, you get a bad reputation for it. So don't do that. Respect everybody's build and enjoy the show. Now something I can't really speak on too much just because I haven't gotten to that level yet, but trust me, when it happens, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use the mess out of it. That is bring your family to the shows. Without families coming there, I mean, it, it's fun to hang out with people, but to have the whole entire family enjoy it together, to learn the process, to know exactly what's going on. That's what brings us together. The younger generation doesn't understand it yet, but you put them in that situation, you put them in that environment, they're gonna find out real quick. Automotive people are great and they help each other out. They're wonderful, they're awesome, and these builds are just so much fun. They bring us all together. Make sure to bring the family out as much as you can. I bring my wife out with me. She's always helpful with cleaning the car and helping me do these videos for you guys. We've got the dog out there sometimes when it's not too hot. That way he can enjoy it and interact with you guys because he loves people. So we try to bring him out to as many shows as we can. Can't bring him out to everyone, of course, but we try to bring him to a, well, the ones we can. 
Now, when we start having kids get involved, of course we're gonna have the bright baby stroller out there, just pushing them around, letting them see all the cool cars. Oh, look, daddy. Oh, look, look at that. Look at that car over there. Wow, that's so amazing. Newer generation is what's gonna keep the automotive community going. So if we don't teach them while they're young, they're not gonna enjoy the feeling when they grow up. You know how you felt when you were in the garage tinkering with your dad, just trying to get that motor in the car, that uh, old Nova, you know, the big block motor in it just sounds so good and so mean. You know how that moment felt to you. Bring that joy to your family, to your kids, the next generation, so they can carry on the legacy and keep these cars going. Because I'm going to tell you, the car community is one of the best communities out there. So I know a lot of you guys already do this, but I figured I'd throw it in here anyway. Another thing to do, take lots of pictures, videos, do whatever you want. We build these cars to show them off at these shows. Why not express it? I mean, they'll be all over social media. You'll have new heroes and your friends and family thinking that you're the best because you got plastered on somebody else's page that they know. Definitely take as many pictures as you can because trust me, when the moment's gone, you're gonna wish you had those photos to remember that good time you had and met all those people that you met. Saw those cool, wicked rides that people are building and actually got to speak to them and talk to them about it. So make sure to take a lot of videos. That's why I started my YouTube channel. I wanted to keep this. I wanted to have like a timeline of you guys and all your builds from start to finish so everybody can enjoy them all around the world. So make sure cameras especially bring them with you enjoy it take as many pictures or as little pictures as you want another thing that we've hit on in the other video that we talked about make sure to bring your detail and surprise with you definitely bring those because you never know when you need to touch up these guys from that long long drive you had so definitely bring some cleaning supplies because if you don't i mean what's the point of even going to a car show right i mean unless you're going for the dirtiest then i guess that's all for you but if, you, if you're in that 99% uh, where you want your car looking the best as possibly can for these all these pictures these kids are taking, make sure to bring your details and supplies with you. Don't leave it at home. Our next tip is pretty simple, pretty easy, but it's often not followed by people. This right here at a car show might not work. You have to deal with the organizers. Make sure your parking etiquette is up to par. So if they want you to park in a diagonal line this way, that's what you do with all your vehicles so you line up with everybody else. Don't be that guy that if they say go this way, you're parking horizontal right here because I want everybody to see my car. Don't be that guy. Follow the parking etiquette. Make sure everything is lined up as they want it because the organizers know what kind of space they're working with and you definitely uh, don't want to make them mad because they've spent all this time with, with these cars and trucks. So they spent all this time setting up this event for you. So make sure parking etiquette you follow their rules and you get it right. Now this one, I hope you can do on your own. If not, I mean, I'm sure you have some friends that can help you out. Make sure to dress comfortable. What I mean by that is basically if it's a 98 degree day, white clothes, very, you don't have a bunch of uh, jackets and hoodies and stuff like that on. You wanna be very comfortable, not very revealing. I've seen some really weird costumes and outfits there at a car show, so don't be one of those people. But make sure to dress comfortable so that you're not stressed out about the heat or anything like that. So make sure to dress how you want. In the winter time, New Year's Eve, like those kind of shows, they do have car meets and stuff like that. Make sure to wear your jacket, your hoodie, so that you're nice and warm. Don't get frostbite and get all cold. Make sure that you're comfortable at these shows. Wear appropriate clothing. Now, I don't know how many times I've stressed this, but I'm gonna say it one more time. The number one thing you want to do, and this will end off the dues for the car show and cruising and all that stuff. The number one thing you wanna do over anything else, have fun. That's it, that's simple. Make sure you have fun, follow the rules. Don't be one of those guys that, that has to show off and all that. Nobody likes those people except for the one or two friends that they have around them. So please, please, please respect the spot and make sure to have fun. All right, so now we've covered the do's, the things that you want to do at car shows, and it's a pretty extensive list, but I feel like all of it should have been covered at some point in time because it's really good information to live by. But this is the worst part I have to do about the video, but we have to go over it, and that is what not to do at car shows, car meets, cruise ends, or whatever you want to call it. <sighs> so I guess let's get into it. Don't be one of these guys. All right, so number one, do not start a rev off competition. I know, I know, I know, I know what you're gonna say, but I've done all this work on my motor. 
I've cut off my exhaust. It sounds so good, I want everybody to hear it. That's awesome, there's a place, there's a time for that, but car meets car shows, don't do it. I used to be the one that used to rev up the Camaro at the shows. It sounds good, I love it, but not necessarily everybody else likes it. So please, 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 don't start rev off competitions. Don't beat it out the box. Don't do none of that unless you're in your own secluded place off to the side because you want to respect the spot. You want to respect the promoters that spent all the time to set the shows up. Don't be that guy or somebody trying to just show off and blow up their motor, um, which would be another good video to see, but for the wrong reasons, of course. Make sure that not only do you not rev your motor all the time, you don't want to blast your music all the time, and you don't want to do no two-step competitions all the time. Yes, they're fun, they sound great, they're awesome. There's a time and a place for it. Car meets are not one of them. Even though you're in front of your friends and buddies, don't do it. But another side of that is don't be that guy that encourages it either because you don't want your friend getting in trouble kicked out. It'd be all your fault. You have no more friends because you got them all in trouble because you egged them on and encouraged them to do all this. They're going to regret you. They're not going to like you or want to hang out with you anymore because you encourage the bad behavior. Definitely don't be those people that encourage it and get people amped up because again, you have to respect the spot. And this also includes burnouts. Stop encouraging people to do it. You're messing up the parking lot. You're gonna get kicked out. You're not gonna have that spot anymore. Don't do burnouts unless you're told otherwise. I feel like this goes under the same thing, but I added it as a, a separate point to notice. Just with the loud music, two-stepping, encouraging bad behavior, please don't start doing donuts. I know it's fun and cool, again, but do not do that. You're gonna mess up the parking lot. You're not respecting the spot. You're gonna get kicked out. It's another place you can't go. It's another place cops are gonna hound you about. Make sure you respect the spot and the spot will respect you. That includes the people running it. So make sure, don't do any dumb stuff like donuts. All right, so here's one of my favorites. One that I have to talk about because it's something that not only do I not like, but my wife hates. It's very annoying, especially when you have black paint to deal with but you have these kids, these parents that don't care about what their kids do. So they get these Slurpees with the dripping with the water. They have the nasty, grimy hands all over your car. Even the adults do it as well. They, I mean, you gotta keep your fingers away from the cars. Don't touch. We have those signs on the windows for a reason. Please do not touch. You can look. You can look all day long. We love it when you look. It's great. We love it. Do not touch the car, period. I'm gonna say it again, don't touch the cars. We spend lots of our hard earned time, hard earned money to get these cars the way they are. So make sure, do not touch anybody else's car unless you ask for permission and they let you. But I'm throwing it out there in case. Another thing you wanna keep yourself from doing, don't do this, is when you're walking around, don't hate on everybody's ride. Don't disrespect it, don't bad mouth it. You might not like it, great, move on, don't worry about it. Do not go around talking crap about everybody else's cars. They work hard on it, they think it's worth a million dollars, whereas you might see it as five dollars. It doesn't matter. We have different tastes, as that you should respect it. It's great that we all have these different tastes because without it, we'd all be the same gray blob that everybody else would be. We would have similar tastes, and we would not have an automotive community like we have now. We'd all be riding around with Priuses and who wants that really? I mean, come on. So make sure that when you're at a show or cruising or whatever you want to call it, make sure to respect everybody's ride, no matter if you like them, if you don't like their car, no matter what. Just keep it civil, be adults about it, don't be rude and keep it moving. Now this goes out to the people that are at their first meet or maybe it's their first meet at a certain location. Just want to let you know, it's okay to be the first one. You don't have to worry about it. We're a great car community. We love you, we love your ideas. We want to accept you and bring you into the world that we know and love. So make sure if it's your first meet or your first time going to a certain meet, make sure that you don't be intimidated. Don't worry about what everybody else has got. Don't worry about what this guy has and he's been in it for years or whether you're a first timer and you got the basic Honda Civic. Doesn't matter. Meets are going to be fun. You're going to meet great people. So make sure don't be intimidated by anyone or anything at a show. 
we're all just people in the automotive community. We're just trying to get along, have a little fun, and uh, trying to meet some new people like you. So come on out and have some fun. Another thing I think I've already covered in this uh, little do and don't session, but I definitely want to hit on it as its own separate entity. Respect the event organizers because no matter if they're giving you their property to use, which costs hundreds of thousands of dollars, or if the event organizers organize the whole entire meet for you to have a good time, be respectful of the spot. Be respectful of what they do. Be respectful of the people that put it on. I don't care if you're two-stepping, they tell you to stop. Loud music, loud revving, they tell you to stop, do it. Burnouts, donuts, they tell you to stop, do it. Don't do that and get yourself run out and kicked out. All your friends are going to be having fun at the meet while you're sitting at home or at the car wash for the meet to die down and you're going to be stuck with it by yourself just sitting there looking dumb. Respect the event organizers. They work hard on it. I've had to do a show myself with a bunch of friends and let me tell you, it is stressful to get everything right. So respect the people that put these on and thank them at the end of every show because they work hard to put on a show for you guys so that you not only have fun, get the recognition that you deserve, you also meet new people and have fun doing it. So respect the event organizers. All right, so this one's a little bit funny, but I really had to introduce you guys to it. It's one of the last two, but it's it's a good one. So I've seen it happen before. Um, a lady was, for whatever reason, talking about her car, said it had over 1,000 horsepower. It was the baddest thing ever. It was a high-end Mopar something. I don't even remember, it's been a long time. But basically, you can tell by the badging on the car by the engine cover, if you're a real car guy, you can really tell this stuff really easy. That's lying about your car specs. We wanna do it all the time. We think our little puny 200 horsepower is not gonna do it. We need to amp it up a bit to 500 or something. Don't lie about your specs, because I can promise you like any other lie out there, people are gonna find out, and when they do, they're gonna roast you for it, and you're not gonna be respected in the car game anymore. So what I mean by this, if you see this, Basically, stock engine cover. Well, I mean, it's got the paint, but stock engine cover, got a little cold air intake. Yeah, I make over 2,000 horsepower. I got the coolest car here. You don't want to run me. Don't do that, because I can promise you, when people find out the truth, and they will, it's going to be all over. And the final thing I want to talk about, about what not to do at a car show. Definitely don't do this. That's get into arguments. No matter if it's about your car, your ride, or just you as a person, respect everybody it's not worth it don't get in arguments especially in the fights i mean i've seen it happen before it ruins the entire time from everybody so make sure that you know it's not that big a deal let it go no arguments just keep moving keep on people will see the other person for who they are you don't have to worry about it be the person you want to be just keep everything else just riding along definitely do not get in any arguments you will get kicked out People won't really like you that much, and really, I mean, what does an argument solve? Nothing. Let's be civil, adult, and have fun. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I do want to thank you for joining me for another video. I know it was a kind of long one, but I definitely want to touch on these things so you guys know what goes on in a car show. The things to do and the things to not to do, so that you guys will be prepared, no matter if it's your first, second, fifth, tenth, millionth car meet, you'll know exactly what to do. I hope these tips and tricks helped you. Leave it in the comments, let me know what tip was your favorite and what other tips do you have for everybody else joining the car meets? What gets on your nerves or what helps you relax that you like people doing at a car meet? If I didn't cover into this one, maybe we'll make another video. But for now, I just wanted to thank you guys for stopping by. Make sure to like this video if it did help in any way. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell if you haven't already so that you can keep enjoying these videos that I make for you guys. It takes a lot of time editing and making these videos, so I hope you guys respect it. Share it with your friends so we can get more people on the channel and do more stuff with this channel. And with that being said, I just want you guys to remember, stay sinister. <sighs> Perfect. Perfect. Perfect.